the ridiculousness surrounding these dudes right now. A Chris Sale, but I'm not naming names. Uh, what the White Sox did Sunday has not been done in more than three decades. The last team to win the completion of a suspended game by what now belongs to you. Team stat, fine. But David Robertson, this one is all you. The closer became the first pitcher since now belongs to you. Team stat, fine. But David Robertson, this one is all you. The closer became the first pitcher since now belongs to you. Team stat, fine. But David Robertson, this one is all you. The closer became the first pitcher since was that he made it just look too easy. And after a combined 38 years, more than 1,000 home runs, the game gave back to both of those guys in the best way on Sunday. 76 Navy collared White Sox uniform, the only jersey in MLB history designed to be worn untucked. This throwback, the reason Chris Sale has now been thrown out, scratched from his start Saturday, then suspended five days after the ace reportedly cut up the unis so they couldn't be worn. Violating team rules, insubordination, destroying team equipment. Manager Robin Ventura called his five-time All-Star emotional. He doesn't seem so crazy. In fact, I love how this guy knows who he is, doesn't care what we think, not what you think, not what fans think, not what Michigan thinks. You know what he cares about? He cares about winning. And in order to do that, he has to recruit. Coach pushes the limit. He even appears in rap videos. Be like Mike, one of the greatest athlete commercials of all time. Michael Jordan mastered the art of sports drinks, selling sneakers and undershirts. Speaking often for his gain, yet staying very quiet when it came to social issues. That's his right. Today, he broke his silence, pledging to donate $1 million to the NAACP Defense Fund and the same amount to the newly formed Institute for... ...before his team kicks things off against Ole Miss. That'll happen in Orlando. And expectations, I know, are always sky high in Tallahassee. But our college football expert, Phil Steele, has released his preseason <laughs> top 40. You're laughing because you know it's coming. Yes. And he's got Florida State as number one, not Alabama, the reigning champion. What do you think when you hear that? Well, you know, you have expectations there, so they might as well put you to top, and you, you want to, that's where you want to be, so it tells the kids. I want to go back to last season because it didn't end the way you mm -hmm. guys would have liked. You lost to Houston in the Peach Bowl. How did you use that to motivate your guys this offseason? Well, I think we did briefly right after because a lot of the guys were in. About October 29th yes. against Clemson. You get to play it at your place. Um, you coached a, a game-changing quarterback in Jameis mm -hmm. Winston. So a guy like Deshaun Watson, what he does for that team, what makes him so special and so difficult to defend? Well, I think he he's great with his arm. Thompson, if you want to break news here, we're good with that. Who's your starting quarterback? <laughs> Everybody. I which he went through that bowl game with, which was amazing he could even play. Uh, he's had a great summer. He's full. You get to see these guys in a way that you wouldn't see them exactly in right. just a soundbite after the game. Um, nobody wants to be the guy that replaces the guy. And that's the position that you found yourself in, which yes. is, is really tough to do, really tough to 